Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Alright, we are pumping out to the first half of May readings. I just got done with Taurus. And yes, Taurus went first because it's their season and it's their birthday and that's my gift to them. Aries is still going to go last because you know what? Every sign has to have their turn going last. So sorry if my fire sign brothers and sisters, you're going last. The ten in between, no particular order. <laughs> no particular order. It's whatever sign I'm feeling at that point that hasn't already been read. And right now I'm feeling Virgo. So. set that there okay this is my earth sign deck so <laughs> I'm gonna put this one to work this reading will be for Virgo Sun Moon Rising Venus if it resonates with you cool it is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards if you choose to do anything at all it is your journey not mine I just read the cards if it does not resonate it's a general reading it's not gonna resonate with every Virgo that's okay it's cool really it's fine just check your moon rising or Venus sign readings as they come out. Also, keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. It may play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And if you're a cross watcher popping in cross watching for Virgo, God bless you and you are loved. I'm a Virgo moon and a Virgo rising, so I get a whole lot of Virgo energy in me. And it is what it is, and there ain't nothing I can do about it, and I'll roll with it until I get ticked off. So, then my my saggy son kind of lashes his angry little serpent head out. And my archers just throwing arrows at people at that point. Anyway, okay. We're just about there. A couple more shuffles for Virgo, and we're going to get it going. Hey now. I hit it when they fall out because then I gotta shuffle them back in. I'm feeling two more. I think two more and we'll have it for Virgo. Calling this Mix It Up May. Just gonna go with whatever the cards say. Whatever pops out, pops out. And I'm spilling coffee all over myself now. Virgo, why are you here? Three of Wands in the reverse. You're sick of waiting. You've been standing at that dock for a minute. And I think you're finally walking away from the dock. Or somebody's walking away from the dock because they're sick of waiting on you. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The Prince of Pentacles. They're moving a little slow. It's solid. It's stable. It has potential, but it's going slow. Okay. Okay. What do you think of them? Hanged man in the reverse. You may think they're emotionally wrapped up in something else, so they're having a hard time accepting the fate of a situation. Okay. Maybe they can't see things from your perspective. Okay. What do you want from them? The Wheel of Fortune popped out. Okay. So, completion of a cycle. Upward turn of events. Reading this together, you want them to get the molasses out of their rear end. Okay. Okay. Well, how do they feel about you? Okay. 
Eight of Wands. You might be moving a little bit too quick for their blood. That That's... Not only is the Eight of Wands a card of communication, it is a card of fast forward movement. Like, pew, pew, pew. I, I call it the Sagittarius Arrows because the Eight of Wands is a Sagittarius card. Pew, pew, pew. Things moving very quickly. Possibly a little bit too quickly for them. Okay. What do they think of you? Three of Swords. Okay. Heartbreak. I'm going to get a clarifier on that. They think... They probably think you've had your heart broken a few times. Let me throw a clarifier on that before I speak on it anymore. What do they want from you? They want you to come out of a state of heartbreak. Five of Cups reversed. Okay. They could just want you to process some emotions. This card's reversed. Not only did you not see the blessings behind you and had your back turned on them, you're not e you're not even looking at the spilt cups at this point. You're just ignoring everything. And they want you to stop that crap. Okay. Well, what's the challenge here? What's the challenge? The lovers. Apparently a very powerful soulmate connection that one of you still has is the challenge in this coming together. The challenge here is you coming together. The challenge is the connection. What can be done? Princess of Wands reverse. Slow down! Slow down! Projected outcome. Five of Swords in the reverse. Inability to change the way we think. Inability to change the way we communicate. Okay. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Any messages for Virgo today? A clarity on the cards on the table for Virgo. Clarity. Messages of clarity. As I fling cards across the room. I'll shuffle you guys back in. I don't trust any of you. A lot of these cards really don't need much more explanation than what I've already given. They're very straightforward, to the point. Why is the Three of Swords here? You 
want to say hi. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Heartbreak and karmic crap. Gee. Throw another one on that, please. Two of Wands reversed. Oh, boy. They want whatever cycle you're stuck in to end. They want you to make a decision. At the same time, they think things are moving too fast and they want you to slow down. They may be having a hard time figuring out why you want to move so fast. You want a cycle to come to completion just as badly as they do, but I think you want it for different reasons. Why is the Five of Cups reversed here? Page of Wands. Oh, well. Oh. Messages of passion. They want you to get through whatever you're going to get through or whatever you need to get through because you're not through it yet. You like to think you're through it, but you're not. And they know that. Before forward movement happens, you need to figure out what you want. Very vice versa sketch energy going on here. They're trying to figure out why you're hitting the gas pedal so hard. And sometimes we hit gas pedals when we're trying to run from something. This has band-aid relationship written all over it. Just saying, Virgo. I've been through a few of them. I have stopped at that gift shop on the highway of life. And bought the t-shirt, bumper sticker, and coffee mug. Don't think I haven't. I am Big Mama Satch. They don't want you to throw on a band-aid on an old wound. They want to be more than your band-aid. Three of Cups pops out. Three of Cups. 
three of swords, three of wands, three of wands in the reverse. There's somebody else in this relationship and they don't want somebody else in this relationship. The other person in this relationship, the third party, Virgo, I believe is someone you have not let go of yet. You may not have been with this person for a while. Don't, don't get me wrong, all things can be vice versa. I could be reading it wrong and it could be the other way around. But there's a third party in this relationship and somebody's throwing a band-aid on. And that's not a relationship. That doesn't make for a healthy, long-lasting relationship when we don't close things out before we move ahead to the next. And we do it all the time. Across the board, all 12 signs are guilty of it at some point. You may have broke up with this person and you may have physically moved on, but you didn't move on up here and you didn't move on in here. I'm just going to get your advice and I'm going to stop preaching. Okay. <laughs> Seven of Cups and the Princess of Cups reversed. What kind of advice is that? Okay, fine. Forever this is for, it may be best to, at this point keep your options open and not commit. If you're not ready, you're not ready. Okay. If you're not ready, you're not ready. Sometimes the advice makes absolutely no sense with the rest of the reading, but it makes sense to somebody out there. Five of Cups in the reverse and the Six of Cups. You have to process this pain. You can't ignore it anymore. Yes, you have fond, wonderful, happy memories with this person. And this crushed you, but ignoring how you feel isn't going to help. Ignoring how you feel isn't walking away. Ignoring how you feel isn't accepting the fate of a situation. Ignoring how you feel is still feeding a connection that doesn't need to be fed anymore. You gotta process through it. And if that means you gotta take your time, you gotta take your time. Because sometimes when we don't take our, when we don't take our time, and we jump into relationships before we've totally exited old ones, they don't work out. Because you threw a band-aid on an old wound. Don't turn people into band-aids. Alright, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Because it's only 8.37 in the morning and I might actually be able to knock a third reading out today before i got to go to my bread and butter job. So, Virgo, much love. Be blessed. I try not to preach to you don't think I'm preaching, but somebody out there needs the message. I love you to bits. All right. I will catch you guys on Friday for the weekend top and bottom. And I will catch you in a week, week and a half. Or so for the second half of May readings, take care.